hope you all are well welcome to or welcome back to my channel today i'm starting a new series that i plan to air the second monday of each month where i'll feature a designer with design style and tip i think will inspire you in designing your own home so our designer for august is bobby burke you all may know of his work on netflix's queer eye burke's designs reflect a stylish and youthful spirit that perfectly fits any lifestyle so let's learn how your lifestyle can inspire your design style. According to Burke, discovering your design style is key to creating a space that looks and feels like home. And while there are many factors that go into figuring it out, there's one that's truly essential. And all you have to do is take a look at yourself. And that will help you learn how your lifestyle can inform your design style. What's the most significant part about your design style? You, of course. But how do you translate your interest and lifestyle into your design style? I've got a few ideas from Burke and there's even more in his brand new book, Right at Home, which I have linked down below for you. So let's get started and learn how to find your design style, the Bobby Burke way. Your lifestyle and your design style. When it comes to your design style, start by thinking about some of your favorite things. What brings you joy? What inspires you? What makes you feel good? The answers to those questions can easily help inform your interiors. Your likes and loves. Think about your favorite vacation, the activities you enjoy, and even the materials and types of clothing you love to wear. If a beach vacation brings back great memories, incorporate some coastal elements. If you love to go hiking, bring nature into your interior with plants and landscape artwork. If you feel comfy in a flannel plaid shirt, you'll probably like some plaids in your design. When you focus on your lifestyle and what you love, you'll discover your design style and create a home that feels like a reflection of you. Take notes from the outdoors. When a window has a view of nature, pull those elements in. Brady Tolbert, creative director at Bobby Burke, uses an assortment of woods in this office. The pale tones of the desk, step stool, and decorative chain are coupled with deep cherry hues and a chair, ceiling, and wall like a color. Make it personal. Turn the wall itself into an ever-changing inspiration board. Tape up pictures, fabric swatches, dried flowers, or anything else you love. To keep it neat, make an outline on the wall with removable painter's tape. Add your inspo inside the lines then remove the tape and voila. When designing, typically Burke begins by determining what's not working in a house, how the space needs to function for the owners, and how he can use design to make their lives easier and happier. From there, he peppers the home with the owner's personality and style, while also incorporating a bit of his own flair. So when you're determining how to style your home, think about what's not working in your home for you, how you want your space to function, and how you can make your life easier and happier through your new design. Again, you can find these tips plus a ton more in Bobby Burke's new book, Right at Home. You'll find a link to pre-order yours down in the description box. Even if you don't get to read the entire book, it is great to just flip through to look at the pictures for a clean yet fabulous design style of inspo. I find Burke's style to be one that can be easily used as motivation in any home by any DIY interior designer. If you made it this far, thank you so much for joining me today. Please leave a comment down below of which one of these tips you love, 
what you feel you can do for yourself and your own home and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I would love to have you here with me at home and I will see you all real soon in a new video. Bye. Appalachian sunrise meets my